first of all using any browser you search the firestore code lab we are following this tutorial to complete the project so after you search you will get the uh, search result you can click the first link okay you seeing this page that means uh, you are in the right website so this is the official tutorial from the google okay so at first you have the overview so basically they tell you the objective of this code lab is they trying to teach you how to read and write the data to the firefox firestore listen the chain in the firestore use the firebase authentication and security rule to secure the firestore data and also write the compass firestore query so make sure you have the android studio 4.0 or higher and also the android and android device or the emulator to run the project so next uh, go to the first step and uh, you can say it's the second step uh, sign into the firebase console to create an account at the project and so on okay so i'm going to show you how to do it so open any browser just search the firebase console okay and then you just click it make sure you have registered an account to the firebase console if you haven't uh, you have to register after that basically this is your project project page okay so for adding the project you just click the add project and then uh, we'll, we'll give the name of the project and so on so i will do like this my fire store underscore and then your metric number uh, of course you cannot have the underscore for the project and then i will copy this for the later use continue this google anything you want it you can enable, enable it so for us actually we don't have to worry about this i just click next or continue okay uh sorry i have to disable the google anything so let's click the project so wait the project finish running So right now the project is ready so you can just click the continue button and then uh, you can go back to the firestore sorry firebase console to check if your project is here or not so just now i created my firestore so you can click this and then basically this is all the information about your project 